All right, guys, we're going to be taking a look at Lance in the Legendary Arena. So yesterday we took a look at how he can perform in his own story event because he was type advantage. So he was going to look impressive regardless. Um, the damage that he's able to do with Hyper Beam is definitely very high. And when you have him 3 out of 5, which I don't, um, you also unlock Raging Rain. And uh, your attack will just be a lot higher. Um, and uh, he's just gonna look much much better So three out of five is where you want to get Gyarados and Lance because of that raging rain um, But at two of five you can still unlock racing rain um, So this is what I have on his grid right here um, You can still unlock racing rain and shower power five at two out of five, but um, those aren't really that great of course uh, shower power five is gonna be good uh, with the with also Raging Rain because then the sick move damage is just going to be a lot higher when they're both in the rain. Um, so Lance is going to do a ton of damage when they're in the rain just because of all the multipliers that he gets. But with Racing Rain, like it's fine. Um, but if you have Swan on the team, then it's not really going to make a big deal. Um, of course, with both on the team, like uh, Swana and then uh, Pelipper with uh, Rainy Day, um, it's going to be good. But the only thing is his damage is going to suffer because he doesn't have any support to help with uh, increasing his special attack to the max and getting him crits. Um, because his uh, training move, he increases his move gauge by 3 and raises his attack and special attack, but it's only by one stage. So you're gonna, you have two uses, so you're only going to be able to get to plus 2 physical attack and special attack. Which isn't going to be that great, of course. So then you're going to want to have support so that you can have his uh, special attack and physical attack to the max. And he does lower his HP by 33% of the HP remaining. So when you use it first, he's going to lose 33%. So you're going to drop almost to 50%, which is annoying. Um, so you're going to be at just about 50% or less uh, after two uses. So then you're going to want to use your potion to, to potion him up and get your health back. But anyways, I have Power Flex 5 on him. Um, but I'm gonna change that to critical strike. Um, I literally just use one um, lucky scroll and then uh, one lucky cookie, and then this is what I got. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, his type skill is maxed out as well, so he's gonna get plus uh, thirty on that as well. Uh, plus thirty or plus forty, I can't remember either or. But uh, but yeah, so this is the team that I'm gonna be running with. Um, Swan is gonna be given the speed. Uh, Torchic is going to be increasing his uh, crit with uh, special attack along with his physical attack. So it's going to be a decent team. Of course, when Swamper comes, you're going to want to replace Torchic um, and then have uh, Swamper on the team with these guys here. But let's go into the battle and see how Lance and Dragonite can perform in the Legendary Arena in the longer fight. I would have Pelipper, but not having MP refresh on Rainy Day is kind of annoying. And like I said, 3 out of 5 is where you want to be for uh, Lance and Gyarados because you get that damage increase. If we were to bring Pelipper in, the only thing that we're going to be uh, getting is more speed. And we don't really need that when we have Torchic on the team as well. Uh, just because our um, our like our speed is going to be great because we have Swana here uh, increasing everyone's speed anyways. And then Torchic here if we need extra speed, um, then we could just, uh, just use Flame Charge anyway. So it's not like a big deal. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So Lance is doing 3.3 thousand on his first uh, Hyper Beam, which is actually not bad. Because we're not super effective, but then of course after his sync move, um, he's gonna keep like he's just gonna gradually get stronger as the fight goes on, and that's the point of this video. Because the more sync moves he does, the stronger he's gonna be. So it's gonna be cool to see how uh, hard he can hit by um, by the final HP gauge. And uh, as you can see, like the the move gauge is moving uh, fairly fast. So now he's doing 5,000 damage on the sync move. So that first sync move buff was actually pretty big. Uh, because he was doing uh, like 3.4 thousand damage and now he's casually just hitting 5,000 damage on a hyper beam <laughs> So it's not bad. So he hit 5,200 damage uh, when we have four move gauge So let's see what he can do with uh, with the full move gauge because we know with power flux the fuller your move gauge The more damage you're gonna do so with the full move gauge. He's doing almost 7,000 damage. That's actually really good Wow, okay so I don't know if Power Flex is actually better than uh, Critical Strike, but like at full move gauge, this is how much damage he's doing. Okay, well, we need a crit. <laughs> we need a crit so we can see how much. Um, but yeah, that's after the first sync move. So like after a first sync move at full move gauge with Power Flex 3, he's doing like 6,000 damage, which is really, really good. And then just at four move gauge, he's going to be doing like 4,300 uh, 4, damage, which isn't that bad. Uh, but now we're gonna go for the second sync move and then let's see how much damage you can do at a full move gauge after the second sync move And I think that will be a big increase as well um, So let's just heal up Gyarados right now 
Um, and uh, I guess one or two. We do have one more potion, unless we get an MP refresh. There we go, perfect. All right, so how much is this Hyper Beam going to do here? 6,400 damage. Okay, this is, it's not bad. It's, I thought it would have been higher, considering we were already hitting for 6,000 damage. Yeah, okay, I guess, I guess it didn't really increase that much. Okay, let's heal up Torchic now. Um, all right, let's go for Hyper Beam again. So 6,500 damage. Um, all right, let's actually get our move gauge down a little bit more so that at least we can get a uh, Hyper Beam off right away at four move gauge and see how much that can do. Uh, I am going to change it to Critical Strike, like I said, because um, I do feel that is better than, uh, than Power Flux just because it's going to be more consistent. Uh, Power Flux isn't consistent, so it's not really going to be like an ideal thing to have. Unless you have a Pokemon that's always going to be at full move gauge, basically. Because, uh, like, at full move gauge, Gyarados with the crit, he's doing 8,000 damage after 3 or 4 sync moves. So, that is a good damage increase. And, of course, if he was type effective, he would be hitting much, much harder. And, and then, of, of course, also, um, when, he, when he's 3 out of 3, or 3 out of 5, I mean, uh, with uh, Raging Rain in the rain and everything, this guy is going to be hitting like a truck. So, like, as you can see, like, as the fight goes on, if you have Power Flux, um, and you're constantly using your Hyper Beam at full move gauge, he's gonna be hitting very, very hard. Um, so let's see how he, uh, how he, how hard he hits with, uh, Power Flux at, uh, full move gauge as well without any sync move buffs. Cause, um, cause you're not always gonna be into, in these kind of events where you're gonna have, um, like, staying in the fight for long uh so like maybe even some fights you're not even gonna have any sick move buffs so like you just want to see how much damage you can do without any sick move buffs if you do have power flux on as well um okay so uh full move gauge uh hopefully with a crit uh 4000 damage which isn't that bad so now let's go for the sync move again and uh see how much you can do at full move gauge after the first sync move and i'm gonna try to keep track of this this time so first move gauge or first sync move. Now we are gonna do six thousand seven hundred damage. Okay, that was a big increase. That was actually a huge, huge increase. Yeah, now we're just casually hitting six thousand damage like nothing. That's <laughs> that is actually crazy. That's crazy. All right, so now let's knock out the side Pokemon. Okay, well we're flinch, so we can't really do anything there. Is are all okay? I thought we were all flinch for a sec. I was like, oh my god. Alright, so let's knock out the side Pokemon now. So, at the most, we hit for 6,700 damage. Almost 7,000 damage with a full move gauge with a crit on Latios. With only one sync move. Um, so, I want to get off another sync move. Um, so, at least we can see how much we're going to do after the second sync move. Hopefully, we don't get flinch. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter anyways. Because uh, we're going to sync move. And then we're going to remove the flinch. If we did get flinch. If we didn't, then, uh, then whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, I'm very impressed with Gyarados. I said this yesterday as well. Um, Gyarados, uh, came out to be better than what I was expecting. So, with the crit at full move gauge, he did 6,100 damage. Does his damage cap out? I wonder if it caps out, because it, it's not really increasing at full move gauge with the hyper beam and with the crit. It's still doing around the same da uh, same amount of damage when he did his first sync move. Yeah, I... I don't know. I feel like Gyarados is just bugged in general, cause his bounce is bugged. Um, power flux. See, that's why power flux just seems to be very inconsistent. Um, unless this is a bug, because uh, for the first sync move, it was a big increase, but now it, it just seems like the uh, the damage is uh, staying consistent, like around six thousand damage after the first sync move. Um. All right, so let's heal up a little bit quickly. Um, let's heal up Swana. Hopefully, we got an MP refresh. We don't. All right, so let's hit uh, Dragonite. If we could survive, yeah, because they're gonna sync move. We're probably gonna die here. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so how much is the sync move gonna do here? Uh, Five thousand damage. Okay, so it's, it's better. It's getting better. Um, and yeah, we go down here. All right, let's actually exit out very quickly and then come back into this because it just seems so weird that uh gyarados's damage seems to cap out because without uh doing the sick move with uh with the move gauge at full bars um with power flux he's doing 4400 damage and then after the first sync move it jumped up to 6800 but then after multiple sync moves it doesn't seem to increase so it's just super super weird and inconsistent 
So I don't know why it does that, but I don't know. Maybe Gyarados is just overall bugged. So uh, if it is, then that's a real shame. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So his first move right here, um, it's gonna do how much? Okay, so almost 2,000 damage without uh, a sneak move and without a crit. Um, so 4,000 damage right there um, with uh, with the crit without his uh, first sneak move. So then with this first sneak move, this should jump up to like 6,000 damage again when he's at full uh, move gauge. Um, so hopefully we get a crit here so we can see. And yeah, there we go. 6,500 damage. And that's consistent. And then like at four move gauge, how much is this going to do? Uh, 6,000 again. Yeah, see? Like it, it's just super inconsistent. It's weird. It's weird how po power flux works. So when it comes to Power Flux and Critical Strike, I'm definitely going to prefer uh, Critical Strike over Power Flux just because I like stuff that's more consistent. It's just super weird, but um, but regardless, Gyarados is definitely very, very good, um, and I do like Gyarados in Lance. Um, we can't really use them to their full potential just because Bounce is bugged, so we can't like... Like when we're waiting for Hyper Beam, we can't use Bounce, otherwise the game is just going to crash. I would try it right now. Um, but I just don't feel like dealing with that little headache of um, of the bugginess happening right now. Um, but uh, but hopefully it does fix uh, eventually. Maybe uh, the damage uh, for Gyarados is a little bit bugged as well. Um, because like, now we're on our second sneak move, I think it is. And uh, at uh, full move gauge, we're going to wait until we're at full move gauge. And then we're going to attack again. It's going to be the same damage as it was uh, after our first sync move. Uh, so how much is this going to do now? Okay, 7,000 damage. I, that's on the side Pokemon. So let's see how much he's going to do against uh, Latios. And uh, and then we'll see from there. So let's heal up Swanna. And uh, just so we don't have to worry about Swanna dying. <laughs> uh, so we're at full move gauge now. Um, how much is this going to do? 6,100 damage. Yeah, like, see, it's just super, super weird how, uh, how Power Flux works. And with uh, Critical Strike, when we get a crit... We'd probably actually be doing a little bit more damage too, and we're probably gonna die here again. But uh, but yeah, that, yeah, that's okay. Whatever. Uh, we already saw what Gyarados can do, anyways. Um, it, it's just, it, it's weird. It's weird how Power Flux works. But uh, regarding um, or disregarding uh, Power Flux, Gyarados is still very good in the Legend Arena. His Hyper Beam hits very very hard. Um, the base power for this is 234, so <laughs> it's definitely a very powerful move. Um, the base power of this is stronger than, uh, Zekrom's Bolt Strike, so, of course, like, any Pokemon that has Hyper Beam, they're already going to be hitting very hard. Um, and then, of course, when you have, uh, stat increases on, um, the Sync Move, or the, uh, the Sync Grid, um, and then when you have multipliers, like, uh, Raging Rain, when you're in the rain and everything, the damage is just going to be super, super high. Um, but it's just weird how Power Flux works, it's not really consistent, um, so I'd prefer to have, uh, Critical Strike. Uh, but still, of course, when you're at full move gauge, uh, the damage is definitely going to be very high uh, compared to when you're using it right when you get the move. Um, like, right when we get the move, um, it was doing like 4,500 damage, and then at full move gauge, it started doing like 6,000 damage. So, when you have Power Flux on a Pokemon, definitely wait until uh, you're at full move gauge if you can. If not, then try to make your team uh, be fast. So, like, have Swan on the team and then have uh, your move gauge go up uh, as high as you can. But if uh, if not, then uh, if you're not always at full move gauge, then you want to try to go for at least Critical Strike or something else for the Pokemon that would benefit them. Um, but for Gyarados, uh, with the Racing Rain and everything, and uh, with Swampert coming to the game, and then his team just naturally being fast, because when you have Swanna, they're going to pair up nicely with uh, the theme skill as well with the Flying type, so they're going to get a nice buff to there as well. Um, so, Racing Rain and uh, Rainy Day and everything, it's going to benefit Gyarados for sure um, when Swampert comes, but Pelipper is not really a great option right now. Um, if you want to use them, you can, um, but uh, then you're just going to be sacrificing uh, your damage output um, if you don't have support to maximize his special attack and crit and uh, physical attack. Um, but regardless, Gyarados and Lance are very, very good. Um, they also have Power Flux 5 on, uh, on their passive as well. So Power Flux 5 and then plus Power Flux 3 is going to be Power Flux 8 in, in total for me right here. Um, so, yeah, they're good. They're good. But uh, I'd prefer to have uh, Critical Strike over here instead of uh, Power Flux 3. So, um, the takeaway from this, though, um, Gyarados and Lance are definitely, definitely good. Um, their full potential lies in their 3 out of 5 grid just because then you get Raging Rain. 
um, on their grid as well, increasing their damage even more. Um, but uh, but yeah, in the Legendary Arena, they're definitely good. They hit hard. And um, yeah, that's that. If uh, if you want to summon for them, you can. Uh, they're a limited sync pair, so you're not going to see them for another year until next New Year's because they are the New Year's uh, limited scout. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.